It's a small tiny bird that feeds on caterpillars that are found in dead wood by pecking using its bill. looking around the tree trunk if there are any caterpillars or insects hidden in the back of the tree it's trying to clean itself maybe removing some pests this is a common fish call this bite is is widespread in highlands and open countries where it normally forages on insects. This is where Kakamega Forest has started. All this you are seeing here is part of the tropical rainforest. Yeah, so we have now arrived at Kakamega Forest, main gate, and we are ready preparing ourselves to go to the forest. This is a pair of black and white cast on bill. Of a black and white cast on bill. This is the equatorial acolytes, yes. very secretive bird. It usually moves with them. On your side? Oh, up, yeah, yeah. Up. I took one photo of it. Mm -hmm. You can take the second yeah. one. Yeah. Grey throated barbet. One of the endemic birds in Kakamega Forest. This bird nests in trees, they make holes in the trees and make their nests. Seems to be holding something in its mouth. Probably it's a just want to go and feed its chicks.
Oh, now we've spotted the colobus monkey. On the tree canopies. The trees are so high. Standing trees. All this in Kakamega tropical rainforest. The forest is so huge and dense with tall standing trees. This tree is so tall. Mm, cinnamon bee eater. So oh, magnificent bird. Cinnamon Move together. Bee eater. No, no, but my little penguin won't be zigo. Eaters here. This bird is common in forest edges and in woodlands. Its main deity is insects. And sometimes spiders. close to me here. I'm happy that I'm taking a very nice video. It's slightly wagging its tail. A different behavior from the other bee eaters. She has a yellow throat that is bordered by a slightly blue patches. Spring there. The African paradise flycatcher is hidden in the dense foliage, but we've managed to see it slightly in the open between leaves and some branches. It's making a very good camouflage as you can see here. It has a very attractive crest, blue and black colors all around the head.
Red-tailed monkey. Comfortably. Yeah. Really comfortable. And the tails are really long mm -hmm. and red. Mm -hmm. Long red tail. That's why they are called yeah. red-tailed monkeys. We've got a speckled mouse bird here. This bird is common and widespread in moist habitats where it forages on fruits, leaves and sometimes flowers. It's such a nice bird with that crest as you can see, it's printing there and white patches on its cheeks. It's got short legs, uh, making it able to creep on tree trunks and branches looking for flowers and some fruits. Very beautiful bird. The crest makes them so beautiful. <laughs>